Hello and welcome to Edward12 on Linux Distro. Today we are going to be reviewing Open Zange. And it got up it got released today. It's a 1204 release. It's had 581 downloads from soundforge.net with 76 recommendations. It's a KDE 4.8 based distribution with a Linux kernel of 3.3.0. Let me just reboot now after installing the system. And we're going to enable 3D acceleration. Give it 128 megs and give it 3D acceleration graphics. So I'm going to power on the virtual machine. And just to show that it's been installed, we will maximize the window, see if the resolution will change. So first of all, it's loading 3.3.0-4 on the Linux kernel like I specified. Let's wait for it to boot up. Spatry already saves you the time and effort where with it already open. I'm going to show you how long it takes, see if it does live up to this 19 second boot time. Bearing in mind this is running in a virtual machine. So there's quite a lot of post menus and options. While this is waiting to post, I'll give you a quick overview. It's supposed to be 19 seconds to boot. It's Google Docs Network Drive, one click Windows file sharing, Dropbox Network Drive, Skype and MSN, GIMP, VLC, Adobe Reader, Java, LibreOffice and Firefox 11.0 its cloud and network is Google Network Drive, Dropbox, Network Storage Access, and I will put a link in the description. So we've got the welcome screen. This is what happens when you first do the install when you're on the live CD mode. I've enabled 3D graphics so we can enable hard um, guest editions once we've installed it and created a user. The date and time is right. It hasn't asked us to create a user. It's accessing the hard drive. So what do I put in as a user? Do I just put admin and root or have I created one already? I forgot. Maybe not. Hmm. That is strange. Let's try rebooting the system, see what happens. We all run into problems, this is one I've run into. I tried a blank blank, I tried admin and root, tried root and root, tried the one that I would have created, can't understand why. Right, I managed to log in as root and my password that I created when I set up my disk partitions. Um, maybe you might get an option to create a user. I've had to log in as root, so I've now clicked enter to log in. This is your splash screen you get with the website openzange.org if you want to check it out. I'm sure Spatry will be reviewing this distribution. Like I said, it's a KDE distro, so it will be quite sluggish. This is why I stay away from KDE. This gets as slow as Windows 7. So you don't want that on a Linux distro. Stuff should be happening because I can see the light on the hard drive activity light on the virtual box. I don't know where they get this 90 seconds to boot from. 
maybe in a future video I might install it on my laptop and actually do get a screencaster and do it from there. Thank you for everything for everyone who's liked, subscribed and commented to the videos. You feedback is really appreciated. You can find me on Facebook on Spatry's on Spatry's Facebook. I'm friends with him on there. You'll find our comment on half of his stuff. I know some of you have sent friend requests already, so top dollar. Try to keep this one below fifteen minutes so I'm not editing it like I do on my previous video. And we have some progress. Hmm. I think it's flicking through all the resolutions. I think it is indeed. The panel bar is a start. I cannot understand why it's going extremely slow though. Let's just check my system monitor, see if it's not my system that's bottlenecking it. One CPU is at a hundred percent because I am exporting a video. I am using three point seven gig because I've allocated this RAM. Um, I have got eight cars, so it's running particularly all right. Right, the f the process for the file protocol died unexpectedly, so there's a, there's a death there's a death among Linux. So should see some floating penguins. So normally in this box it'll have a few applications open. If you want, if you bear with me, I'll lo load up the live CD again. Right, and we're back. Apologies, I just had to refresh this by going into settings. And then going to click show desktop. And then click show place and click apply. Then it just refreshed this. So... In here you've got add windows applications under wine, you've got Dropbox, you've got Firefox, you've got Google Docs lo login, info center, internet connections, language if you want to change the language, MSN chat which is Pigeon, uh, is mul you've got multimedia which is VLC, network storage, LibreOffice, open or orangs USB creator, Printers, Setup 3D Effects, Skype, Webcam and Windows File Sharing. Because we've installed this, we will go to Install Guest Editions. We should get a dialog down here saying you've put a CD in. We want to open with File Manager. And it uses Dolphin as a file manager because it's KDE based. And first impressions is it's okay, just not under a virtual machine. Because we've only allocated it 128 meg of video memory, which is all we can do, it does seem to be a bit on the slow side. So I'll try and get this to work and I'll be right back. Now I'm getting one particular error when it comes to installing guest edition so I can't seem to get my 3D effects and my wobbly windows and stuff. So under administration you get your APA which is your software management, authentication, you get your HP device manager, your language, your Samba, your system config date, set and time, users and groups, game you get wine mine, graphics, the document viewer, Gwinner view, Cobber Paint, K Snapshot, Ocular, and K Color Chooser and K Ruler. On the instant internet and messaging, you get Blue Devil for your Bluetooth, Dropbox for your file synchronizer, IP Tux, K Net Attach, Conquer for your web browser, Pigeon Internet Browser for for your messenger, and you get Skype. Multimedia, you get Audio CD Extractor, Brassero, Cheese, K3B. K Mix, Movie Player, Rhythm Box, VLC, 
Under Office, you get the full LibreOffice suite and project management. Under System, you get Dolphin, Man Dolphin for your file manager. Fedora Live USB Crate, which is that open ZAN USB Crate we explained earlier. K3B for your disk burning. KD Partition Manager. K Disk Free for your view disk usage. Let's view the disk usage. And then you've got Info Center, Console, KR and R Tray, which is your screen size and rotate. K Wallet Manager. K Wick Disk. Neo, ne Nepo Muck Backup. Neo Muck. Nepo Muck File ind Indexing Controller and System Monitor. So let's have a look at K Disk Free on here. As you can see, it's created quite a few, and it doesn't like to move around that window. That's better. Seems to go weird when it goes in there. there. Anyway. So obviously that's going to be 100% because it's a... What the? For some reason it doesn't really like to move around that. It's better. Um, it's using 6.7% of home directory. It's using, out of 45 gigs, using 9.1 for boot, uh, uh, for main. It's using 15% of 422 meg for RAM, for boot. And all the rest of it. And um, let's have another look at the system monitor. System load. You like to use a hundred or nothing. It's using about twenty percent on average, roughly. Now it's saying a hundred. That must be a hundred percent free. So it's using zero point zero apparently. Don't know how that works out, but yeah. It's using zero point three seven gig of two gigs. So it's quite light on RAM. So have a look under utilities. There's Arc, there's Brassero, there's Flightlight, there's K Calc, there's K Character Set, K Floppy, Clipper, Timer, K Right, Super Caramba, and Sweeper. And it, like I said before, it's a Fedora based distro. I would highly recommend this. It's worth giving it a shot. Give it a good virtual machine. See how it goes. And let me know if you, anyone's tried it on actual hardware. And I will show you what it's like when you shut down. Same as what you get on Ubuntu. And it's just a black screen. And then you can get a sense of how long it takes to shut down a virtual box. Sending SIG term to remaining processes. It's usually the last thing it does. And it unmounts everything and bam done. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.